in the last stream, we completed the ultimate section of the quest book and we managed to get our new spirited reactor producing up to 100,000 redstone flux per tick up and running. And now we've unlocked the next tier of the quest book here, the hellish tech tier, and I kind of think that by the end of today's episode, we might be able to automate the production of Hellish Technium. Because in the last episode, we worked our way fully through the Netherite questline. We managed to get Netherite automated and we got our first tier nine support frame up and running. We did do it incorrectly because we did it for a resource that actually can't be mined, that being Soul Sand. And by extension here, it looks like we've managed to get some iron in this draw, which for the time being, is uh, not really something we have to worry about. But now that we have Netherite automated, we can kind of look forward towards the Hellish Technium. And we can see here that most of what we need to craft is just Netherite. We need Netherite blocks, a lot of them. We need black iron ingots, which are iron and Netherite. We need soul sand, which we can't mine, but we can craft by decrafting compressed soul sand. And we can craft compressed soul sand with compressed sand and ultimate technium ingots. So real quick, I think one of the first things that we are definitely going to want to do is get a couple of tier five storage upgrades and increase the amount of sand that we can store inside of our frame draw here. On top of that, another thing that I think we're definitely going to want to do is convert that pre-existing sand draw into a compacting draw because that's going to allow us to access the sand in its compressed form automatically and means in the future when we want to start auto crafting soul sand we don't have to first craft the regular sand into compressed sand we can just pull the compressed sand directly from the compacting drawer and then use it in the crafting of compressed soul sand now between streams you may have just noticed that i have done a little bit more base work i finally got rid of the starting platform almost in its entirety we do still have our uh, little bit of grass here just in case we need it in the future but i tore down all of the wood and i also got rid of the tree absorber because i've moved it down to the center of the platform here so we just recessed this middle platform put the tree absorber down in the middle uh, it does kind of go a little bit lower down here it um it, i thought it was gonna look a little odd if we put the the platform super low and so the actual tree absorber and the barrel that the items go into that's kind of hidden below but the tree itself and the frames are all above i did swap out the tier one frames for tier six frames this isn't required but i just think it looks a little bit nicer and then somewhat awkwardly but effectively i put down an import cable to pull all the items in uh, before we were using a hopper and a draw controller which was working but we'd have to run a lot of trim to get from here all the way down to here and so instead i just ran a network cable from here down across and over and then now we have the filtered link cable which is slowly but surely pulling in all of the resources and so uh, now that that is taken care of now that you're all caught up on what we've been working on over here we can swap this out for a compacting draw and then we could use laser io to move things over here but it's also going to be pretty quick for us to just manually move all this over annoyingly that doesn't work how i expected it to i was really under the impression that we would be able to put compressed sand in there it might be the case that if i try this again let me get rid of all of the sandstone if i put the compressed sand in first that might work sometimes the uh, the compacting drawers can be a little bit finicky like that let me uh, quickly hop on up here i did have to move the elevator when we uh, redid the platform but if i do this and take a compressed sand and we put that compressed sand into here that doesn't work ben <laughs> that could be intentional just because of the fact that ben wants you to automate the um the crafting of sand into soul sand it's unfortunate it adds one more step of complexity it's not particularly difficult but uh, let's just throw a bunch of tier 5 upgrades we might as well throw uh, the full amount in there uh, so now this can hold just a staggering amount of sand which is perfect and yeah going forward we can set up a little system that uh, automatically produces the compressed sand for us that's not going to be too difficult and we'll save this compacting draw for something in the future now that's taken care of though i do want to get upgrades onto netherite i think 
The first upgrade we need to do is we need to upgrade the netherite draw because I believe right now we are... So I say netherite draw. Do we have our netherite going into a draw? I don't actually know if we do. Is it just going into a chest somewhere? Of course, over here is where our netherite is. Let me go ahead and grab a couple of these blocks because we can use these to increase the speed of our miners going forward. I also want to put maybe an upgrade in here so that we can just produce a ton of netherite because we're going to need loads of it going forward. Uh, these blocks of netherite are going to allow us to speed up miners to the fastest possible speed, I think, or almost the fastest possible speed, the fastest possible for us at this moment in time. And also, this is not the right place, Isaac. This is a soul sand miner that doesn't work but if we use netherite blocks as the capstones then we reduce the time it takes to produce the ancient debris here to just 20 ticks and so we get one piece of ancient debris every second as opposed to the one piece every 11 seconds that we're currently getting all right so now we're producing this substantially faster which is hopefully going to be good for later in the episode when we need to produce a lot of these hellish technium ingots so just as before we're going to try and produce those hellish technium ingots over here this time because we've kind of filled up our platform over there and so my plan is to hopefully set up hellish technium maybe like here and then next to it on this side we're going to work on the uh, voided technium when it comes to that now in order to be able to make the hellish technium the one thing that we don't currently have the ability to make is the technium singularity and that's because this requires a quantum compressor thankfully though there is a quest line that walks us through the extended crafting mod. That is this one right here. It starts by unlocking the extended crafting research paper. For that, we need four netherite, four ultimate technium ingots, and one blank research paper. That should be extremely easy for us to do, so long as we have paper, which we do because we set up a sugarcane farm earlier using the garden cloche. And so, boom, I'm going to make a ton of these. I don't think we're going to need more than 16 before the end of the pack. And boom, we get our extended crafting research paper nice from there it wants us to make an elite crafting table followed by an ultimate crafting table so we've already made the first two tiers of crafting table from the extended crafting mod but we can take it further by upgrading our advanced crafting tables to elite and then elite to ultimate now each time you upgrade here you do have to craft two of the previous tier and so if we want one ultimate crafting table that means that we need two elites which means we need four advanced which means we need eight basic that should be fine. That means we need 16 regular crafting tables. We currently have 30 regular crafting tables, and so we should be able to quite easily craft 16 of these, assuming we have enough cold coke, which again, we should. We're still using quite a lot of uh, coke ovens. Um, and whoops, we need... Oh, I only needed eight of these, right? Not um, not 16 of these. I needed 16 of the other crafting tables. That is my bad. That's fine. Let's make, uh, I think, four of these to make two of these. That completes that quest. And then one of these nice we'll claim our free tech books which are not that useful at this point in the pack but either way uh, we now need to make a black iron ingots we saw this recipe earlier the black iron is super easy it's just iron and netherite it's easy enough to craft it's just expensive because it requires that netherite and then with that black iron we can now look at making a black iron frames so these are made in the ultimate crafting table it's a massive <laughs> recipe that requires a bunch of black iron ingots with tinted glass tinted glass we can make with amethyst shards and glass interesting and then the ultimate technium ingot in the middle there amethyst shards we should be backing up on over by our elite technium automation we are indeed we have 64 of them in a draw there and so back over here we should now be able to make a bunch of tinted glass i'm just gonna make a stack of the stuff and then with that we should be pretty much good to go let me also get a bunch more black iron here i'm gonna make a stack of that as well just to have it and uh, now if we take our ultimate crafting table and let's say we place that down i was gonna say for now somewhere over here but you know what we can even go and place it up here as well to be fair because we can reuse this the recipe for the hellish technium this one right here uh, can be done in any of these crafting tables and so what i think i'll do is let me just quickly check where i've put my drawers over here for symmetry so we've gone three across on one bank from our dark oak log and so in here just to prepare let's go three across and one bank like that and we'll do the same on this side as well three across and one bank so those are where the uh, the final products are going to end up and then of course for that we do want to get two more hoppers we've already got one in the system that's fantastic and we can get one more very easily and with that what we can do is uh, just to kind of save on making another 
crafting table, we can do this and this, and we can use this crafting table both to make this black iron frame, which does require one ultimate technium ingot, which we can, of course, steal from this guy, but then we can also reuse this crafting table in the future to craft the hellish technium. So let's do one of these. That gets us the black iron frame. And then over here, we can now use that black iron frame in order to produce, I think, both the crafting core, which is quite the recipe, and the quantum compressor. Both of these require a staggering amount of enriched diamonds. Thankfully, we did automate the production of enriched diamonds, and if our system has been working as intended, we should have a bunch of them in here. We do got 64 there, and then we've got like a further 64, I assume, backed up in here that have probably been pushed right over to here. So I'm just going to take, I'll, I'll take 64. I actually don't think we need more than a stack of enriched diamond. Back over here, do we have then what it takes uh, to actually make this happen? I think the answer is yes. We might need even more black iron. Again, I'll make another stack. It's not going to go to waste. We need it for that hellish matter. Uh, so here we just need a bunch of black iron with enriched diamonds and the black iron frame. And then here for the crafting core, it's kind of just more of the same. It's a ton of black iron. Another frame though is what's required, which again seems doable. Let's head on back over here. Chat has made a good point that we are going to have to upgrade this to the auto version if we actually want to use it for the, uh, the auto crafting of Hellish Technium, which is true. We are going to have to pick it up and, uh, and recraft it, but that is fine. It shouldn't be too difficult to upgrade to the auto version. I assume that we just use the wooden hopper again. Oh, we need to upgrade to, uh, to regular hoppers this time around. Again, that is completely fine. Let's make one more blank iron frame. Fantastic. And then let's go ahead and make a quantum compressor, which I think is the thing we really need. And then uh, the quest book also wants us to make one of these crafting cores. I'm not quite sure yet what the purpose of the crafting core is. There's also a recipe that wants us to make the pedestal as well. Requires pedestals around it to craft items. What are we using this for? Yeah, I don't see a recipe that requires the uh, the crafting core. So I don't know if we need it, but just to complete the quest, I feel like we might as well craft at least one pedestal and that's gonna fill in that quest line and give us that wonderful sound of completion and boom there is our pedestal and with that we have completed the extended crafting quest line nice let's quickly steal this guy and see about upgrading him with hoppers which should be very straightforward iron is not something that we're particularly light on at this point in time we've got uh, 198,000 iron available in the system and so one two three and four allows us to upgrade this to the uh, auto crafting table version of the ultimate crafting table. We'll whack you back down here. And the idea, by the way, with the quantum compressor is that we can use this to produce the technium singularity. So for this, we're going to need eight technium, eight ultimate technium per technium singularity. And we're also going to need one of these ultimate catalysts. Now, thankfully, the ultimate catalysts are not used in the production of the singularity. You just need to have one in the machine and so we only need to make one ultimate catalyst and the whole thing could just keep going from there so to make the ultimate catalyst we need four ultimate components these are made with black iron slates which are easy enough let's make at least one of those are we completely out of black iron we are that is completely fine we'll make another stack of the stuff and we'll make a few more of these we need at least four of them from there we just need some luminescence which is glowstone redstone and gunpowder gunpowder we don't have however the quest book does say that you can craft basically every mob drop in the game that does appear to be the case and so back over here we can hopefully get at least four luminescence that four luminescence can then be crafted with the previously made black iron slates and the emeralds to get us hopefully four of these ultimate components at which point we can then craft up one ultimate catalyst and with that we should now be able to make our first technium singularity if we take eight ultimate technium out of here and we place down the quantum compressor somewhere over here it is going to require power. I'm going to put it here for now, but we're going to move it over here in a minute, just once we get um, another flux point. But uh, just to show how this works, we put in the ultimate catalyst, we put in the required items, and boom, it makes a singularity. Doesn't take too long. It does use 200,000 redstone flux per tick to make that work, but that is completely fine. We um, we have like a backlog here of, of, 10, of 100 million, sorry, redstone flux, and so it does take a lot of power, but... I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. And then we can use that in the production of Hellish Technium. In fact, I'll put the first one in the center here, ready for that. And so really all we're gonna to have to do is, is move this over to here, 
get ourselves a output draw to start storing the uh, the ultimate technium although i might just pump straight from the quantum compressor into one of the uh, the draws above the controller so like one of these draws here just so we don't end up making too many of these because i don't really think we want to have like a, a spare stack of technium singularities because they're really not useful for anything outside of making the next tier of hellish technium and they're also very expensive in terms of the amount of ultimate technium they require but uh, that seems like it's gonna be pretty straightforward and other than that we just need to set up the refined glowstone and source end automation so as far as the refined glowstone goes this i think is the hardest thing we have left to do for this we need to craft an osmium compressor i say craft an osmium compressor but i'm actually fairly certain that we made one before and didn't need it and it might well be sitting over here totally is and so we can go ahead and steal this i don't think we actually need that for anything other than making the energized glowstone and so really what we should be able to do is take one of our frame drawers this is going to be the frame draw for energized glowstone let's put you right about here let's place the osmium compressor behind it like so and then basically all we're going to do here is we're going to have the osmium compressor eject items to the front which is uh, the side facing the drawer that is where the refined glowstone ingots are going to get pushed to and all we need to do now is export both osmium and glowstone to the osmium compressor for that all we need to do is put down uh, one exporter let's say here another one let's say here we need to have both of those set correctly to their respective sides so we'll set the uh, bottom to let's say yellow for the osmium and we'll set the back to red for the glowstone and then if we grab just one of each we can set the exporters to export hook them up to our system and we should at that point be almost good to go the one thing we do need to do actually here is we do need to first turn the glowstone blocks into glowstone dust and we can either do that with an enrichment chamber or with a pulverizer i feel like we might as well go with an enrichment chamber just because the enrichment chamber is so much easier to speed up we can use the speed upgrades the energy upgrades and we could even make it into a factory variant if we needed to and so with that in mind what we can probably do then is get rid of this in fact put the other exporter here we're going to export the osmium to this one we're going to export glowstone blocks up into here this time we'll just set you to input from the bottom like that and we're going to say eject to the right or to eject on and then in here we can just swap the back input to a right input and that should take the glowstone from here and just push it straight into the osmium compressor which i think is perfect all right so this is basically good to go here we have osmium being exported to the osmium compressor and we have glowstone being exported to the enrichment chamber and it turns out this is not necessary um it turns out that actually what we've learned just now via the twitch chat we can like the, the, the it seems the compacting drawers work in in mysterious ways but in this circumstance if we swap the glowstone draw here for a compacting draw it turns out that this can kind of back craft the glowstone which is odd because you can't you can craft glowstone dust into glowstone blocks but in this pack you can't craft glowstone blocks into glowstone dust but it turns out if you use the compacting draw you can make that happen you can make that a reality and so if we just do this we now have our glowstone available in both dust and block form and so with that in mind it's actually going to be more power efficient for us to just export the glowstone dust directly to the osmium compressor as opposed to using the enrichment chamber so let's once again steal this let's move it back over to here let's go back to our original plan of just exporting the glowstone like that and of course we can then just hook that up here and here and that should hopefully begin to make the refined glowstone ingots again we do need to swap this back to input on the bank like so and yeah that is going to work right now it does have power because it retains its power when you move it but what we should do here is get at least one if not a few more flux points so that we can power that mechanism machine but also uh, look at powering things like the quantum compressor as well when we move that over to its uh, kind of final resting place for lack of a better term so we'll make some more eyes of endo perfect uh, that's going to allow us to make more flux cores i'll make as many as we can and then from there we can make a couple more flux point here i don't see us needing more flux plugs going forward and so i think it's quite safe to just craft up uh, all of our uh, flux cores into flux points we'll throw you down here connect that up to the lampy power network 
and that's just going to keep going, making the refined glowstone ingots. And of course, again, we could speed that up in the future should we wish. I don't foresee a reason for us needing more than 64 of these. And so as per usual, I will go ahead and grab a downgrade. Also, whilst I'm here, let me get another storage request table so that I can put one on the new platform so we don't have to keep flying back to the center here every time we want to, uh, to get something out of the system or do a craft. All right, now that we've got the downgrade in here, and now that we have our storage request table ready to go, let's move on to the soul sand. So for the soul sand, it's mostly a case of just getting some more auto crafters because we need to auto craft sand into compressed sand. We then need to auto craft compressed sand and ultimate technium into compressed soul sand. And then we need to craft the compressed soul sand into regular soul sand. And then we can put a drawdown for the regular soul sand. So by my calculation there, that's three auto crafting tables. None of them need to be that high of a tier. And in fact, we already have a couple of spare uh, of these basic crafting tables here. And so if we quickly do something like this and craft like a stack of wooden hoppers, we should be able to craft three auto crafting tables here very quickly. And from there, we can grab some sand, which we're gonna export to craft compressed sand. We can grab an ultimate technium ingot, this is where it gets expensive, making a lot of, uh, of soul sand. And other than that, I think we just need a few more hoppers, right? I will go with regular hoppers here just for their added speed benefit. But ideally, what we can do is throw down a draw. And this might end up looking a little janky, but that's fine. <laughs> and then this crafter here is going to downcraft the compressed soul sand into regular soul sand. So prior to that, we want another crafter. This is gonna craft that compressed soul sand. And then prior to that, this is gonna craft the regular sand, the compressed sand. So we want a draw here. That draw is gonna be locked and it is gonna hold sand. It's then gonna take that sand and then down here, it's going to craft it. If I uh, temporarily turn this off, we can do this and this. And then from there, if we put the sand back in, it should start to auto fill in if I've done that correctly. And that's gonna craft up the compressed sand. That compressed sand actually doesn't wanna go into here. That's my bad. We want that compressed sand going into like a drawer or a chest above here, right? And so in that case, we actually want to move a lot of this up by one because we want to get like another two by one drawer. So do we have the ability to make another one of these? We totally do. And again, with the smooth, Oops. <laughs> and again, with the smooth stone here, we can do this and this, and this one is gonna hold the compressed sand and the ultimate technium. No, this is incorrect. Let me move this. We are gonna put one draw here. This draw is gonna hold compressed soul sand. Let me lock that draw. And do we have enough soul sand to make a compressed soul sand? We do not. However, we do have a uh, soul sand down here that we can steal because this doesn't work as we found out in the last episode. So let's quickly do something like this, grab one of these, and then you're gonna go into there. We can take that out in here, we can turn off the crafting, put this in, select this, and turn it back on. Cool, so that's gonna make compressed soul sand. We need to then make compressed soul sand. To do that, we put another basic crafting table here with the two by one drawer on top of it. The two by one draw here is going to be for compressed sand and ultimate technium. Now to make the compressed sand is where we need another draw like this. Uh, and then this one needs regular sand. There we go. This <laughs> now should work. So here I need to uh, take one of these back, downcraft that in here. We can turn this off temporarily while we set the recipe. Shift left click, left click. That is now selected. Turn it back on. That's gonna pull the sand from here, craft it into compressed sand, and we're gonna be good to go. The final thing we need to do is export the ultimate technium to that drawer. And I think that's kind of about it. I think that's the only thing we need to export. Actually, that's not true. We need to export sand as well. Let me get a plethora of storage downgrades because I think almost everything here does want to be downgraded. Can I make a couple of upgrade templates? I totally can. And then from there, I can make a bunch of downgrades. The reason we can make those templates so easily now is that uh, we've got all of those oak draws that we tore down from our starting platform. And uh, they're just now in the system ready to be crafted into, uh, into upgrade templates, which is quite nice. So downgrade, 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 and downgrade. You're already downgraded. That's fine. Let's quickly grab maybe some more network cable because I think we are 
basically fully out of network cable as well at this point. And I would love like a stack of network cable if we can uh, if we can swing it, which I think we definitely can. Fantastic. And from there, we can just do something like this. I'm going to hide it behind the hoppers. Like, we don't need to do this. It would be uh, more efficient to just run it straight down. But I think it's going to look a little better if it's kind of, like, hidden away just a little bit. And uh, from there, we can also, I guess, do this like that. And then all we need to do is tell our system to export send and ultimate technium. So here, we're going to export ultimate technium. And up here, we're going to export send. Now, the good thing about this, uh, this is only going to hold 32 Ultimate Technium, I believe, and also 32 Compressed Soul Sand, which is, uh, is kind of perfect. So we also do, of course, need to set the recipe in here. So once again, disabled, and then we're going to do this and this. We will uh, shift, left click, left click, select that, turn it back on, and down here, this is already set up. Perfect. All right, chat, I think we have Soul Sand fully automated, uh, and of course, we're going to put link cables on all of these to allow them to be accessed by our system. But now that Soul Sand is taken care of, there is really only two things left to do. We need to automate this guy, the uh, quantum compressor. So let's steal this and let's move it back over here. Let's put down the next drawer right about there. And then let's put the quantum compressor, let's say, probably just above it, right? One thing we are going to want to do, of course, is uh, kind of block these in with hoppers. To be fair, it might even not be a bad idea for us to kind of give up on the hoppers at this point. And um, in, in scenarios like this, just use laser IO, get some more laser nodes. Especially, I'm thinking, with the quantum compressor here. Because while we could put a hopper here and the quantum compressor here, even if we block in four of the five slots, there's still going to be a backlog of 64 of those uh, technium singularities, which is a lot of ultimate technium to have to back up on. Whereas if we just drop a downgrade into here, we can uh, we can definitely minimize the amount of ultimate technium used. I might even go one step further, and I might even get another two by two draw and put a downgrade into that because that's going to mean that we only have a hold sixteen of those singularities at any given time, which I think is just going to help us to not immediately burn through all of our ultimate technium and then fully like stress out our system. So I'm kind of thinking if we do this and this and then grab another node i should just make like as many of these um <laughs> laser connectors as we possibly can because we constantly seem to be out of them what am i missing here i am missing signalum of all things i really thought we had signalum backing up over here again i think it's one of those things where we're using the um yeah, it's being made there it's just um being used quite aggressively we're using these uh, ultimate technium ingots so fast now to make things like soul sand and we're about to use them even faster that we're kind of um stressing out other systems and then running out of um, of resources that we previously had large amounts of. Either way, for now, we can uh, temporarily grab some more of these. And I do have that energized smelter somewhere. And once those are smelted, we can make yet more laser connectors. I'm going to make just 12 of those, uh, even though that might have been a mistake, actually, because now I need to make item cards. And these, of course, need more chips. Do I have any item cards spare? I do. That's very helpful. Thank you, Isaac of the Past. So... Over here, we're going to put you there. We're going to set the export card to the top and the insert to the side. Perfect. Uh, this drawer is locked. And all we're going to do is we're going to take our one pre-existing singularity, which I put in here. And we're going to put that in there. Nice. And we're going to leave the other three slots empty. It doesn't look as good, but it does limit us to only 16 Technium singularities because each of these slots can only hold 16 now. I'm pretty sure. Actually, never mind. Up here, I thought this was going to be limited to a stack totally it looks like it's limited to a stack per draw in that case there is no point whatsoever to using this draw instead of using this draw and so i guess we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that we're going to back up with 64 of these that's going to be a lot of ultimate technium ingots if we want to get 64 of those that means that we'd have to have 512 ultimate technium which is quite expensive um my next question is can we use a lever to turn off like can we apply a redstone signal to the quantum compressor to prevent it from producing the resource so my thought process here is that if we give this power and then uh, oh that's not the right one we will do this one of course that's full up if i turn this on does this produce 
a singularity. It does, which is unfortunate. I really hope the redstone signal would work here. However, the Twitch chat does make a good point in that I think given that we're using laser IO here, much like we've been doing previously, we should be able to hopefully just use a uh, accounting filter to prevent, let's say more than like even one going into this draw. So if we take one of those and inside of here, we go to the insert card, we put in the counting filter and we put in exactly one. I think what that's going to do is that's going to stop it from, like if I make another one here like this, it is gonna get made, but it's probably gonna sit in the quantum compressor, which is still a problem because it means that the quantum compressor is just gonna back up itself with 64 technium singularities, which again is way too much ultimate technium. And so I think somewhat awkwardly here, what I might do is quickly see if we can't steal some more signalum because I want to make some more chips. So in here, do we have more signalum backed up? We do not, but I'm hopeful that kind of any second now we might see some signalum come back in. And of course, if we wanted to, we could give this a quick time in a bottle tap to make it just that little bit faster. And then once we've stolen some signalum, we can make some more chips over here. And those chips are going to allow us to make another node. Actually, we don't need more chips for another node, but I am going to need more chips in order to make more cards, which we definitely are going to need. I'm going to make just a bunch of chips. And I'm going to put those in over here so we can always have them ready when we need them. So my thought process here is that if we do this and we throw down another draw, let's say here, this draw is going to get the ultimate technium. So we are going to have a stack of ultimate technium in there, but I think that's fine. And then I'm wondering if we can make, I think what we should be able to do is make the extract card here, redstone bound. You'll see right now it's set to redstone ignored. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get two more item cards, which of course in and of themselves require signalum. For that, let me quickly go and grab even more over here. Uh, we can once again give this a quick tap and then we can just steal some of the resultant signalum. And over, here, let me make two more item cards. Those item cards are gonna be used to move the ultimate Technium ingots from their current draw down into the quantum compressor. So we're gonna go extract, and we're gonna set this to redstone high. And I'm gonna put that in here. And then on the other side, I'm gonna say item card like that. My hope here is that we can then make at least two redstone cards. These guys right here. And I'm hopeful that we can use those as a way of stopping the laser node from moving any ultimate technium over. If we have an ultimate technium down here, we're also going to want to get a redstone upgrade for our storage drawer. It doesn't matter which one we go for here. Either will do. Put that in. And then in here, we're gonna put a redstone card insert. So that's inserting the redstone signal and then I do wonder if I put the redstone output here, will this be able to affect this card? I actually don't know if that works or not, but let me set that to output. Strong. So if I put that in here, I don't know if I need like a separate laser pointing into this laser or not. But there's one way to find out. We have, I think this is working. Like it, it's not moving, like we have here an item extract card that is supposed to extract items. And over here we have an insert card. It could also be the case that I am incorrect on how this works, because I think it's also possible. If I take some of this out and I put one back in, I think you might have to insert into the top of the quantum compressor. Let me change this to uh, ignore redstone. Yeah, that's still, oh no wait. Oh, I did push it in. That actually did go in. You'll see it's right here, one out of eight. Okay, that's good. That means if I set this back to strong or high, if I take, if I put one more in again, that's not going anywhere. It's staying where it is. Let me lock that as well. Now, if I take both of these out, it should then put one in. And by both of these, I mean all three of these out. It should then put one in. It didn't. Interesting. And I'm not quite sure why. I wonder if that's because it's not receiving this redstone signal. Like this is set to strong into output but I don't know how we get this, or if we can even get this redstone card to affect this item card. Like, I don't know if that is actually possible. Chat is of course right. I make the same mistake every single time I do this. I don't connect the nodes together. 
We need to uh, do one of these and one of these. And then now these are actually linked. And so there might be a little bit more chance that this actually does work. All right, so apparently, I did not know this, but apparently the difference between the um, the low and high setting is that low is requires no redstone signal and high is requires a redstone signal, which is good here because now I think this is working. So we have a situation where this card in here, the item card that is extracting the ultimate technium ingots requires a lack of a redstone signal in order to extract. So it, it does require redstone, it doesn't ignore redstone, but it requires no redstone signal. And currently, if we put an item in here, so let's say there's at least one technium in there, as soon as there's at least one in here, this node is uh, reading it, and this draw is emitting a redstone signal. That redstone signal is then passed over here, and this card is passing that redstone signal to this item card, and because there is a redstone signal, this shouldn't transfer. So if I put one item in here, it's gonna stay in here, right? There's one ultimate technium in here, there is three in here, and there's three in here. Now, if I take the three out of here, so in this scenario, let's imagine that we've used our last technium singularity, we take all these out, at that point, this is now no longer emitting a redstone signal. Over here, this redstone card is outputting no redstone signal, and so this is not getting one, at which point it is now gonna move the item over. And you'll see now that we've gone from three to four. This works, this is good. And so now, if we put in all of these, one thing we probably do want to do is change the extraction rate. Right now it's doing one item per second. I'm gonna change this to like one item every two seconds. I'm gonna slow it down a fair bit, maybe even, we'll try one every two seconds. I just don't want too many items getting sent over. If I do this, it's gonna start moving these items over one at a time. And as soon as it gets to eight, it's gonna make one very quickly. And then as soon as the first singularity is made, it is then going to set, uh, go down to here. This then triggers the whole redstone signal thing and stops any more getting sent over. This is maybe an overly complicated way of doing it, but it's a way that's going to allow us to not instantly burn through hundreds of ultimate technium ingots that we just simply do not have available to us right now. And I think it's the best way for us to do it. So let me get another export cable and let me make sure that I have put a downgrade in here because we are gonna export a stack of ultimate technium to this draw, which again is a lot, but I think that's fine. We're gonna be using a lot of ultimate technium. And so let's just quickly do one of these. And uh, now that's connected up, we have automated the production of the technium singularities. And of course we can send those around uh, to the auto crafting table. So with that taken care of, we now just need, I think, to automate the black iron ingots. And I think we're basically good to go. We have the refined glowstone, we have the soul sand, we have the technium singularities, we just need the block of netherite and the black iron. The block of netherite we have, the black iron can just be crafted. So continuing our kind of current strategy, I think I'm just gonna put one of these here. Let's go, we can do a hopper for this, I think that's completely fine, like that. And then we'll just get another auto crafting table. Place that down right about here. And then above that, we can just stick another two by one draw, which I think we did just make two of, right? So we should be uh, with another one in here. We do indeed have one spare. Let's get smooth stone and dark oak. Fantastic. And over here, we're just gonna do iron and netherite. They're gonna get exported here. And then at the bottom, we're gonna make that into black iron. So let me quickly grab some iron and some netherite. Fantastic. And then in here, we'll uh, quickly lock those to that. And then we'll take one, two, three, four, of you and I think five iron. Let me quickly check that though. It might be the other way around. Yeah, no, it's uh, five netherite and four iron, unfortunately. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Make sure we turn that off so we don't make shears by accident. One, two, three, four, and five for that. Shift right click, left click. Fantastic, turn that on. That's gonna start making black iron. Down here, we're gonna downgrade you, of course, and downgrade you, lock that up. And over here, we're gonna export those two resources if we have just at least one of each left, which we do. Let's make sure that we export both iron and netherite into this setup. And I think with that, we are kind of good to go. So let me do this and this, and then over here, we're gonna set up the exact same thing we've done before, where we grab at least four tech books, we purchase yet another draw controller, and we're gonna put that draw controller on here with two drawers either side. In this case, we want the two by two drawers, boom. 
and boom. And now we're going to use another exporter to export the items that we've been making over to this drawer. Let me quickly clear out a bit of my inventory here. We want to export uh, black iron. Also, I should really have this uh, technium ingot bookmarked here. We want to export black iron uh, netherite blocks, which are all the way over here. Let's take you and get those exported to the draw controller. We'll put them in like that. Um, I should make sure actually that these are locked first, just so we don't end up filling them up with netherite blocks, but we'll do something like that. Fantastic. We then need uh, just regular black iron exported as well. Let's do that. And let's do that. Again, let's make sure that uh, you and you are both downgraded. We then need refined glowstone and soul sand. Both of those, easy enough. Export, export. Let's put both those in here and here. Now the tricky bits, again, kind of come down to the singularity here because that's everything apart from the singularity, right? But again, I don't want to store 64 singularities here if I can avoid it at all costs. And so what I think I'm going to do, as awkward as it's going to be, I think I'm just going to move this setup that we've just put here and have that draw right here. The setup is going to be the same with the quantum compressor and the nodes, but I think I'm just going to move it so that we don't have to set up another system that kind of tries to limit the amount of um, redstone being sent here. The whole system is still going to try and make 64 of these. Again, we probably want to swap this out for a laser node, actually, so we don't end up with a, an extra stack of, of the solium here. Do I have what it takes to make yet another node? I totally do. Let's put you there. So we're going to extract that that way, and uh, that way it's going to prevent us from backing up with a, a second stack of hellish technium in here, which, again, we'll just use a staggering amount of ultimate technium. All right, so not too long later, and I've moved the setup over to here, but I am going to make a slight tweak to it. So we have the same setup. We have the... Um, Technium Singularity, right here. We've got the node that moves the item from the Quantum Compressor. So we have the Extract card in here, pulling from the Quantum Compressor, and we have the Insert card over here. That's going to insert the uh, item into the frame drawer. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to move this Redstone card because I was just thinking about it, and we were going to run into the same problem where we were limited to only one Technium Singularity in this drawer, but as soon as we teach the recipe to this Ultimate Crafting Table, it's going to start pulling items in, and it's very quickly going to try and pull a stack of Technium Singularities into here, and that's kind of going to defeat the whole purpose. And so what I think we're going to do instead, let me get two more item cards here. We do finally have a little bit of Signalum. We'll set one of these to Extract. We're going to put that into the top, and another to Insert, like that. That's just going to move stuff into this frame drawer. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to move the signal for the redstone to here, and I'm going to, instead of linking these two nodes, I'm going to link these two nodes like this, and we're going to put a redstone card in here. Uh, this extract card, by the way, is the extract card for extracting from this draw. I've not put it back in just yet because I don't want to make a ton of Technium Singularities. So now, basically, what we're telling the system here is to only send Ultimate Technium from here into the quantum compressor if we have no hellish matter, which means we are only going to have one hellish matter at a time, but I think that's kind of fine. I don't think we're going to need a ton of hellish matter. For the most part, I think we're mostly just going to use it to make the voided technium ingots right here. And again, I don't think we need a ton of those either. And so let's go ahead and quickly see if we can't teach the recipe in here. So let's turn this off. Let's put you in the center. Uh, it doesn't matter at all that the crafting grid is too big. That's going to be completely fine. We need eight netherite blocks. We need eight Iron blocks, and then four. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, we've only got one in there? Oh, that's because I'm not actually exporting, Isaac, you fool. <laughs> Real quick, let me uh, break this in the floor here, and let's actually connect that up to the system so the exporting can begin. And then we need eight of these that are going to go not in there. Let me quickly lock that drawer for the future. We're going to put eight of these. These are going to go, uh, I think, here, 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 and here, like that. We then need uh, at least one, two, three, four of these, as well as one, two, three, four of these, and uh, eight black iron. We have the eight black iron, that's fine. So the eight black iron goes in the spots next to the nether white blocks. We then have the refined glowstone, which I think goes in the corners like that. It totally does. And the soul sand in the middle, like this. Shift click to lock, click to select. That's gonna start filling up. We can then go ahead and click go. And that's going to start making hellish technium. So that'll make hellish technium. And then we want to push that hellish technium, of course, down into here like that. That is, again, another 
quest complete. And then now over here, we can put the item extract card back into the down slot. And that's not going to extract any items because there is hellish technium here. So this is going to continue to be made. We're going to fill up on black iron. We're going to fill up on netherite blocks. Slowly but surely, we're going to fill up on glowstone and on soul sand as well. It looks like we could probably do with some speed upgrades, potentially. Uh, maybe even a stack upgrade would probably help tremendously, actually, in terms of moving items over, given that we're only holding one stack of each item. Uh, aluminum dust is an interesting one. Uh, completely fine, though. We can quickly throw some into a pulverizer over here. Let's do one of these, and we'll try and grab to aluminum fantastic that's going to allow us to make the stack upgrade and then we can throw that stack upgrade into here and that should hopefully uh, fill these up a little bit faster potentially let me try these as well unless i have a problem with my setup i think that should be working i do have a problem with my setup isaac the problem with your setup you fool is that you didn't put the link cables down let me get some more link cables here these are not actually connected to the system none of them are that is thankfully a very fixable mistake we can go one two three and then if we just hook all of those up to their nearest network cable we should finally start to see all the items moving over and we should end up with about five of the hellish technium and the reason for that is just that we already have five singularities so quick refresh fantastic over here this is all getting made and again over here i thought i put the cards in oh no the extractors on the west side it wants to be on the upside there we go and cool so we have five hellish technium and i'm pretty sure that the way this should work if i take all five out we should see these getting sent over getting crafted into another technium singularity of course assuming isaac let me quickly take this card out so we don't end up with even more in there because it is going to keep filling up uh, you got to make no mistakes here let me quickly replace down the power for this let's do you and you there we go so now that's going to make the singularity fantastic we can put the extract card back in like so uh, that's going to go ahead and produce another hellish technium for us and in doing so one of these did get sent over which is going to be the case like if we take this out we should see the same thing happen again now this should be working if we wait We'll see this reach eight, which does take a few seconds, but I think that's fine. Once it hits eight, it's going to make the singularity. It's going to take a little bit of time for the singularity to go from here over to here and get turned into an ingot that then gets put down. In that time, a couple of ultimate technium are being sent over, but that's fine. I don't think that's a problem at all. Cool. And so now we have automated hellish technium, and we've done it without burning through hundreds and hundreds of ultimate technium that we ultimately did not have. And so... Real quick, is there anything we can actually do with this? We can make a ton of tech books, which is very nice indeed. And eventually we can unlock the Beyond Earth papers. Interesting. So that is one of the things we need to do to actually start the next quest line. But for that, we do need beacons. And for that, we have to go through this um, essence quest line, which we've not actually even scratched the surface of yet. We need to uh, unlock that, which seems kind of easy enough, actually. And then uh, figure out how in the world this works, because I have not played with this before. But I'm intrigued as to uh, as to what this has to offer. We're going to unlock the beacon and the tier 10 support frame. From there, we can start working on traveling to space. And we're not too far away, chat, from the uh, kind of penultimate technium ingot, the voided technium. And then from there, we can start work on this uh, kind of challenge quest line here with the uh, final technium ingots. But that is a problem for future Isaac. For now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Techopolis 2 there.